Okay, it's another brand new day. So let's see what we can do today. Mm, okay, so let's see something. So previously also we learned it's still on uh, Arpeggio. We did something about Arpeggio and uh, some people are saying they like it. So let's continue and see what we can do today to advance what we did or the advanced version a little bit of what we did last. So more like part three of uh, part three of uh, the arpeggio. So the last video on the arpeggio was something like this. Uh, yeah, something like that. That's what we did last. So today let's see what we are going to do. So in every song we have the masculine chord and then the feminine chord i don't know how you understand that but in every song we have a masculine and every chord has its masculine and then the feminine version of it so if you play f or you take this f like this it has the feminist version of the f minor it's very soft but the masculine is kind of straight and if you take C you have your C yeah so in every song we have the masculine and then the feminine of it the masculine is more like a man the macho of you know we assume men are very strong and then women are so some kind of portion of songs you play you need minor not always playing your major so you see people play all, um, almost all their songs so at least give a minor so this is a minor so from f instead of me coming to my soul which is my uh, yeah let me see this is c in f so this is my soul so one two three four five instead of your five you make it a minor so instead of coming here i don't want to come here again so let's go let's go together if you have a keyboard let's go so your f major c minor and then D minor. I hope you get it. It's F, C minor, and then D minor. So let's go. So we have two minors here, and then one major that we are playing, one major card, and then two uh, minor chords. So let's go. So instead of you always ah nah, so you can go. Just give it that soft version. Because when you go to this, you allow the singer to flow. That's one secret. When you you are adding your minor, you are giving the singer more like a room. To flow uh -huh, because you are giving the singer more like a big field yeah because the singer I always know from here da -da, kind of you are limiting the voc your vocalist or your singer to always be in the same corner uh -huh. but when you add a minor you've advanced or expanded his his or a, a kind of uh, environment to to flow so i will also advise you when you are playing you can give it a try okay so if you play f if if instead of even the f instead of you playing this if 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 you kind of don't want to play you play e so instead of playing it a minor so this is this is more like a minor because the c 
creating your chord this is your c and this is your a so instead of playing this a here so if you bring this a here you are playing a minor uh, so this is your a major your a minor so i'm playing it this way so instead of me playing my f you can decide to play like this it's different thing all together though but depending if you play it like that you've expand the scope of the singer instead of uh, So we have A minor, C minor, and then D minor. Meanwhile, we are playing it in F. Uh -huh. So just try something like that to expand or give your singer more room to go on. Don't always limit your singer in one corner. So.